Hello, and welcome back to Sunken Hearts. This is our game that is inspired by Isekai and Changing the Lost, especially, and Die, and all of those kinds of things. We are in 1999. We are in uh, Mobile, Alabama. Last time, we left off with a number of things kind of outstanding that were up there uh particularly a party to be done a yes. duel to be held uh and uh not 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 Cyril, but oh i do have a mr. name mr suit mr suit uh mr suit having a conversation with a a taker uh uh who was was in uh, uh another body suit uh there oh, and that's kind of where we uh left off um the big thing of course at the start of the session was you finding the junkyard and you informing the uh essentially the hands for each of the courts about that situation they it had the uh, different attitudes in response to that but generally all of them asked you to not spread that around and said that they would take care of that situation. Um, so I do maybe want to come back by checking in on people's entanglements, making sure that they are still where people want them. Uh, just take a quick glance through, tell me if anybody wants to make any adjustments to those or phrasings, or I'm going to sneeze. Uh, so... <laughs> My niece sneezes weirder, weirder than that. So she does this yeah. pachu thing that sounds like she's like faking it. Um, and did anybody, uh, looks like a couple people have enough XP to have gotten an advancement too. Mm -hmm. I'm struggling um, with that right now. Yeah. Why don't you take a look at that, uh, all of you? And uh, uh, if anyone has has made a decision, it looks like you chose one, uh, Aldo. Yeah. Yeah. I uh, chose one wary um i always have an opening to escape when i escape i can bring somebody with me excellent um and sherry looks like you're choosing one yeah i picked a recall which does so, oh you'll love it uh it when you I. reach into someone's memories about a particular moment roll on a 10 plus choose three, on a seven and nine choose two, ask a study question, make a declaration about the memory, show the memory to others, create a manifestation of the memory, gain plus one forward against the person, or slightly change some details of the memory. On a miss, my own lack of memories haunts me and I lose one memory I've made that I treasure. Oh, I'm looking forward to you rolling that one. I know, I know. I also picked it and I went, oh, that's the scariest possible thing that you can have is the fail state. So that, thanks. Thanks that for that fair. roll. Uh, the roller is still down. We don't have an ETA on when it's going to be up. So you'll want to have a couple of D6 by you or use another online roller. It's up to you. Um, I've been having Marceline. good luck with uh, this DD dice roller. Uh, so here I made a... Ooh room for us just in oh. case thank you uh it's a uh, i i like ones that are shared ones and it even has like pretty dice rolling neat and it's not and it's the... not shane's thing so i'm happy uh, with link that in the ch uh, link in the chat cool thank you but yeah like oh pretty dice oh and they make snow wow okay i <laughs> seen that before <laughs> that's wild <laughs> that's um okay that was a lot okay so okay. when you go to do a thing you just click what you need yep uh, it says bees because that's the name of the default dice set oh okay, okay. I was it like, am, am I a bee? Out. Is this like Google Sheets and I'm, I, my icon is a bee? 
but uh, you can, if you're interested, you can go. They have a dice market. You can find different pretty dice. Like I have some oh. stained glass dice. Oh, that's cool. I have those weird winter dice. I I dig it. Thank you very much. That that that's that is very cool. Uh, we'll have to share that on a, the Discord as well. It says something about dragging and dropping them, but where do you drag drop them to? You can just click on the dice oh, at the go. bottom. Okay, yeah. I did, and then and I dragged it off, and it disappeared. Uh, yeah, so that's um, basically making little presets down there of either like one die type, or you can put multiple dice into one of those little boxes and have like your two d six or your three d six box. Oh, I got it. Um, and how do I name the player? Uh, you click on the little um, letter up in the upper left hand corner, and then just uh, highlight where it says whatever your player is and change it. My player. Let's see here. I'm looks like I'm peace. Am I player one? It looks like. Let me see. Yeah, here. I wonder. Can I? Oh, I bet I'm yellow because there was a one d six that got rolled there. Horrible thing. Okay. Uh, yeah, I play for the player too. Not that I need to roll. If you go over here, click, then you can see who you are and like change your name there. Uh, and if you want to build little things, you can come over here to where it has the dice, and it'll bring up a dice set. And so you can like drag them down to make uh, a little set. So I have like. A 2d6 set that I can just hit this plus button and roll to roll 2d6, or I have a 3d6 setup. It's not that I much harder it. to actually click the dice, but there's that. And then it snows. And then it snows. <laughs> I, I really have not used these before. They're amazing. <laughs> uh, so I guess the question I have is because we did kind of end with you, Mr. Suit. And that conversation with the taken, or the taker, rather. Um, mm -hmm. Do you go back and tell the others? Or do you do something else? Um, or, or would you like to, some time to think about that? <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, just, I'm trying to think back to, to the last time. And I, I know I was... Uh, really mad about that so I, I don't think he would i think he'd, he'd sort of stew on it and okay plot dark thoughts so tyler do you think the duel is first or the party is first we haven't established a timeline here so I, i'm going to give you some time before either of them happen but let's let's get an order of uh, operations Let's do party then do. Okay. So we're probably a couple days away from the party. We have food. It's been cleaned up. We have decorations. All of those things have been done. Um, Lydia, um, what else do you need to do? Uh, so today... As soon as I get out of school, I run over there to get the preparations for the food started. So essentially, we're making, you know, Swedish meatballs, and we've got a bunch of delicious options, but the the sort of main, yeah. So I'm making lots of random things um, at the, at the, um, there. So okay. I've got like a, a lasagna that's in one of those big, um, like tin you know, uh, foil, not tin foil, but you know, the, the aluminum foil, aluminum foil, kind of, uh, uh, aluminum, it's not foil, an aluminum pan. That's the ones you could buy and throw okay. away. And you know, those sorts of things. So, so I you, have a, you have a stovers is what you have. No, not stovers. Like a Gordon's uh, food service is, is that, yeah. is it like a real generic? Yes, exactly. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But I'm adding more Parmesan on top. Okay. Just to make, make it, it your special. own. Special. <laughs> um, so you're doing that. Uh, mm -hmm. um, are you 
trying to draft anybody else into it? Do you have anything else you need to, to do? Are you letting, are you handling this all yourself? The party is tomorrow night. Oh, I thought it was today. Uh, so then I'm just getting all of that stuff to, ready and doing the Good checklist. Okay. And I've built the 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 timeline thing. I I don't know. I probably... So, so is, there's the thing that I've had the conversation with Lean and Hungry Mike that, you know, uh, they could come and help me, but they also mentioned that they tend to eat nervously while someone is cooking. Mm -hmm. And, and since, and they, they keep warning me that they eat a lot. So I'm trying, so I wasn't sure what, what I would do. So mm -hmm. who do I think would help me here? If I, uh, if I think of the people in my court. Are the people in your court? Well, let's take a look here. Uh, Probably not Dandy Maine. Um, probably not Sainted Coils. Sainted Coils is not good for much. Similita Pilcher doesn't care for you. And Abyssinian Max doesn't care for you. I well, it, that's not for realsies though. That's just court things. So, who is someone that we haven't seen from the Court of Sons? that actually is a friend of yours? Because looking at the ones we've already established, none of them really seem to like you. You're acting like that's a personal fault on Lydia's fault for her side, and I think that is not the case. Um, but uh, she's just too talented. Um, <laughs> so, so, so sure, I think, oh... I think uh, that uh, there is a lady who uh, is called Miss Bossa. Um, and I will put her picture okay. in the thing. And holy smacks, I cannot. That's just it. Ms. And she is renowned as a hostess, and um, but she's also like she loves to help on things, sure. Um, and then she loves to gossip. So just just to make this complicated, we have a first encounters role. Ooh, okay. Uh, so let's have you roll with sons. I'm gonna roll with sons. Uh, which uh. Uh, technically is joy. So I think that's my two. Yes, it uh, is. Let me see. Okay. So, and now all I have to do is figure out the DD6. So, because I am that person. So, can I just type 2D6 somewhere? Is that not allowed? If you click on the sick D6 sign thing at the bottom. There isn't one because I told you I moved it and then it disappeared. I only have fours, sixes, tens, and D tens and twelves. Oh. Isn't that weird? That, yeah. Oh, here we go. I bet I can put it here. Nope. It's gonna make me click. Just let me type one, two, D6. I'm sorry. Well, some, you, I, I'm going to roll 2d6. That's what I'm going to do. I'm so sorry y'all are waiting for me. I'm just going to roll them and then I'll show you what I get. But I'm adding you. I got an 8. Okay. Add 2. And that makes it a 10. That makes it a 10. Uh, so uh, under the basic move, on a hit, you know the reputation. Uh, you kind of established that. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, you can learn something interesting or useful about them or you have a string or you start with a string on them 
I think I've learned something new or interesting about them. Okay. Uh, and Sherry, just briefly, you should be able to click this die symbol up here, and that'll bring up the options. You should be able to grab a fresh D6 and put it down in one of your boxes. Okay, okay. You have to show me the up here again that you did, because oh, I was not okay. looking at the thing when you did it, okay? That's fair enough. Okay. <laughs> Menus, tabs. There we go. That's the thing. So, this one? This uh, D20 symbol up here. Ah! Where? Click. Browse themes. Right here. Okay, yes, I see it. If I click on that, it says browse themes. It should themes. bring up a theme, and you can grab a fresh D6 and put it down in one of those boxes. Oh. Ideally, one of the boxes without any other dice in it, because then it'll be big. And you can see okay, it. thank you. Thank you, that was what I needed, I think. Cool. It won't let me put two in there. Oh, yeah, it did. <laughs> it just hid it from me. Okay. And then to do that. Uh, going... You'll need to cl click off of the browsing themes to go back to rolling. Okay. Thank you. Eventually I'll figure this out. But not right now. Clear. Okay. I think I'm Tyler there. And I've had a couple games to play with it at this point. I so see. Had a little more time with it. Oh, it just turned it into D. Oh, that's nice. Okay, I see what it's doing now. I think I kind of get it. So, Ms. Bassan. Yes, do it. Okay. You yes. know that kind of maybe a little bit dangerously, uh, she oh. is fascinated with the idea of those immortals in town. Ooh, okay. Um, and rumor has it that she has collected memorabilia regarding them. Ooh, I like that. Okay. I think that, yeah, while we're there planning everything out and writing out, out the schedule and everything, I'm like, so what have you heard about this thing about, what is it, Rodrigo? That he's on the outs? Heard that rumor. Um, was it Rodrigo? Is that the name? I thought it was. Uh, she will say, My understanding is that either he did something that violated one of their community standards. That's one version I've heard of it. But the other thing I heard about it is, so supposedly, each of them has a weakness, mm. and Rodrigo's weakness has been leaked, and the immortals are competitive. Uh, when that kind of thing happens. So they are going after him because they can. If that's the truth. I've heard stories in both directions. Now, when did this kind of go down? Like that he had to go on the run? Is that My understanding is something happened on New Year's. New Year's was a crazy time, wasn't yes, it? Yes, yes. Uh, uh I, I don't know if it coincides with our, uh, and she pauses and she says, our thing that happened. Mm -hmm. It's it's hard not to think about it, isn't it? It is the elephant man in the room. Much more scary than an elephant. Mm, yes. Uh, yeah, but she will, will help you get everything set. Seems she does it at, at some point say, I do have a question for you. Certainly. Why? Why are you doing this? Oh. 
And she stops and she goes, well. When it seems to go against your heart. You know how sometimes you like someone so much, you just root for them, even if, even if it isn't the happiest thing for you? No, no, I'm a heartless bitch. Really? I couldn't tell. No. no oh, I'm no. going to write that down. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't I, forget. I highly recommend it as a lifestyle and outlook. Oh, really? Hmm. I have to practice then. Um, do you have like any mental exercises that you go through or things to help you yes. remember to be a heartless bitch? I look at myself in the mirror and I tell myself I'm amazing and I deserve everything that I want. Oh, I want so many things. Seems overwhelming. I will try it though. Affirmations. I, 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 I. Sometimes I buy those little affirmation books, the 365 days of the, the year ones. Uh, mm -hmm. I buy them. Uh, wait until February uh, because then they go on sale because they're day by day ones. And so mm -hmm. you can get them in the remainder section. And I will read them through and uh, then I, then I chew them up. They are delicious. Oh, each page. Do you have like a schedule or do you eat them all at once? Oh, I eat them all at once. Mm, that makes sense. It's so I like to gorge sort of... myself on people's hopes and dreams. <laughs> I mean, if you're going to do it, all of them at once. <laughs> Absolutely. Right. It just it's makes the... me happy. In some ways, it's bigger, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. I just don't want you. I just don't want you to have. There's a particular flavor of joy that is kind of a melancholy joy that is a wan looking off over the water, staring off, you know, singing Thinking that song for from Pete's Dragon. And, uh, you know, it, it, it's it, 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 it's still a little bit of joy and you're getting into it. It's very, it's very emo. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I, I kind of do feel emo sometimes when I'm around. I mean, that it sometimes the situation makes me feel emo. Lydia, um, Lydia, Lydia. <laughs> there are no more little affairs. You don't have to go down that road. Just, just let it go. Embrace your joy. Uh, and uh, you will get things put together. Uh, Marrow, you have the party tomorrow. You have the duel in a few days. What is it we want to see you doing? Well, I think I want to go and try and get a gift for uh, for the party. Okay. It seems appropriate for Doe. Um, so I think I'm going to go and... Uh, uh, try and dredge something up that will be appropriate. Okay. Something filled with hate and toisons? <laughs> Little <laughs> needles? <laughs> Where do you go? For this, I mean, last time we saw you go back behind the restaurant down to mm -hmm. a little kind of fishing creek that you know. For this particular thing, where, where are you going that's different? I think I'm going to go to actually like the beach okay uh, yeah to an act you know down to where the the it meets the coast absolutely they've got the the, the coast uh and you go to long airways you know south of town of course there's a bridge off to the islands that are further south but you can go down to the beaches that are down there there are probably buses that run out uh, uh, I've got my motorcycle. Oh, that's right. I forgot. Yeah, you have your 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 with the sidecar. With the sidecar. Are you gonna put the spear on it too? I mean the staff. I've, I've got my yeah. I probably got my iron thing there on in the sidecar. Okay. Uh so yeah, you will go to the beach. It it is, it is, uncrowded. Given that it is January here, so it's probably. With the wind coming off the water a little bit, it's probably 50 degrees, I'm going to guess, 45, 50. Uh, uh, and uh, there are still people there. There is a, they're not it, some homeless, but also people who are just kind of beach bum folk, uh, you know, surf fishing and, or just hanging out down there. Um 
There is a kind of a boardwalk area in spots, but of course, all of that is closed up um, right now. Uh, so what do we see you do? I think I'm going to where the boardwalk kind of heads out and probably like a pier. I'm going to go underneath that. Okay. And I mean, I like the 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 ocean at uh in winter because you know it's kind of gray and I mean even even in the Gulf it's gonna be a little gray here in January. Yeah. Uh so I'm going to get there and uh hopefully not be as observable uh and begin kind of drawing in the sand some various little symbols and then with my iron bit I'm going to push it down in and try to dig up and see if I can cobble a gift. Okay. I'm actually looking well, I mean I have well, the, you roll and then we'll have yeah, you decide we'll see what we get. Yeah. Yeah. Uh what so, are you rolling with? I think I'm rolling with sorrow because I don't really want to get to a gift and I don't really want to go to the party. <laughs> that seems fair. I got a 12. Yeah. Despite your your reluctance, uh, you'll be able to, to get something. What is it that, that you draw out and then let's figure out what it does? Okay. I have, have been thinking of getting just a bottle of something like you know, like face spirits, but with such a great role, maybe I ran across something a bit more substantial. Um, I think as I'm digging down in there, uh, I pull up a box that uh, it's kind of carved, and as I open it up, um, there's a little ballerina on a spring and it begins to play music excellent is somehow the the wood of the outside box again like everything that is in the undertow is that kind of water worn on the outside but it's pristine on the inside here the the velvet look like the velvet uh uh that it's it's on is clean and dry and the little ballerina pops up. Uh, and what song does it play? Dream a little dream of me. Okay. And you've got some picks here. You get to choose three yeah. things. I think I'm going to spend them all on It's a Permanent Object of Magic with a tag. Absolutely. What magic does it create when it's opened, Marrow? I think when the song starts playing, I think the little ballerina steps off her spring and kind of flutters around and I think I, I think that you could uh, try to not get it too excessive, but like the the little ballerina will fly around and you can see what it sees. Okay. As you're holding the box, you're holding it there and it will, will fly out. It's one of those glamour... Maybe in the mirror in the box, you see. Oh, okay. The... Yeah, mirror on the top. So you can see that and... You know, you can see kind of through through its eyes as it, it flies around and about. You can tell you have some command over the direction it will go, but it also has kind of a little bit of a mind of its own. It's very nice. It is far too nice for it her. Way too nice for Joe. Absolutely. <laughs> That's okay to make a bunch of people jealous of her. <laughs> We'll see if this makes it to Doug. <laughs> uh, Aldo, what about you? What are you up to? What are you doing? It occurs to me that it's been a while since I have checked up on Songbird Rex, who I am supposed to be protecting and who seems to was up to something weird last time I saw her.
So uh, you go to kind of, do you call Songbird or do you kind of just try to cross paths or how do you want to do this? I think I just try to cross paths. I think I'm out like kind of, kind of patrolling my neighborhood and uh, deliberately do it at a time of day in an area where I'm likely to run into her. You will see them coming out of a Kinko's. Not a FedEx Kinko's because we don't have FedEx Kinko's yet. Just a Kinko's. Uh, Oh, you're so retro. I know. (laughs) Um, And they have a little... Uh, a hand cart uh, with those printer boxes of printed materials. Uh, and they they come out and you kind of halt because they're looking around like, like they're making sure that no one has seen them. Uh, and uh, you will see them uh, start to, to roll the, the cart uh, uh, down the street. Um, it's clearly their hand cart, um, you know, cause it's so battered. It's, it's not the kind of one that like, you know, it's something they, 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 they bought at Goodwill and patched right. up. Um, and they, they kind of, they kind of take off. What do you want to do? Uh, you know what? I'll, I will follow at a distance cause I'm curious, but, uh, Yeah, I think I think I will I will follow a distance. Um okay. I will see them go to a small branch post office. Okay. And you kind of stand and watch, and you will see them very carefully. Uh they take out manila envelopes and they've got like some pages of inkjet mailing labels. And you'll see them start to take out like stapled printed material with kind of a, a a glossy color cover and put it in the middle envelopes and kind of start loading up an envelope, sealing it, putting a mailing label on it, setting it aside. And they they end up with a couple dozen uh that clearly it's all the same thing. Uh and you know, they break down the boxes. Uh, and then they they haul those uh, and they go to essentially to send those out. Yeah, that's funny because like this would normally be an incredibly boring thing to watch someone do. But the fact that she's like, you know, looking around nervously on, on leaving the uh, the Kinkos. Um, yeah, you know what? I will... Uh, I'll wait for her to come out. Okay. Talk to her then. Uh, Sends sense those out. You know, this is in the day before tracking numbers or anything like that. So they just send the, right. the, the, the yeah. things out into the wild and maybe they'll arrive <laughs> and they won't arrive. Um, but you can see that she, uh, she clearly has at least one, maybe a couple of the things, the printed materials like in a, a, a kind of a, a uh, a crappy uh, uh, cloth go- grocery bag. She's kind of tough stuff. Those in there. She said all those off, and she starts to come out, and she sees you and freezes. Deer in the headlight style, and <laughs> it's almost like you see her brain like lock, and then try to try to reboot. Ah. Uh... Oh, hi. <laughs> Doing my best to just look completely innocent. Um, I don't know how effective that is. <laughs> uh, uh, Aldo. Hey. 
what are you up to? Ah, just just up for a jog. Um, oh, oh. How about you? Uh, there's a new set of commemorative stamps. Uh oh, uh, what what are, what's a commemorating? Y two K. Wait, that's that's like reverse commemorative. <laughs> uh, I, someone told me they were uh, uh, came, and it turned out they weren't. Uh, uh, all they've got yours. is a new set of flower stamps. Uh, so, guess my trip was for nothing. <laughs> I didn't know you were a stamp collector. Yeah, I, I collect collect things sometimes. Uh, you know, collectibles are a good. A good investment and a good trading item. There are lots of uh, uh, little uh, uh, freaky mortals. I mean, just mortals. I did not anything about freakiness. That wasn't talk about that. Just no. I'm sorry. What? Uh, I mean, I think there are a lot of freaky mortals who collect things, but um, um. Uh, I well, look. I realize it's none of my business, but um, uh -huh. you seem very uh, nervous. Let's have you roll conflict. Sure. I think hmm. I think this is actually fear because I am I'm nervous about what she's going to tell me. <laughs> okay. It can't be good. Nine. Nine. So what is it you want here? What do you want to have happen? Got kind of two picks from the list. Um, hmm. I guess I get what I want from them, which is just to, information. To kind of know what they're what they're up to. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Two. Um. Let's see. I'll gain a string. Okay. Oh wait, no, that's two, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Uh. Yeah. Never mind. Uh, I will avoid a cost. Yeah, that sounds good. You see them stop, and they will say, "You're my friend, right?" Yes. I'm going to show you something, but you can't tell anyone. Okay. And she kind of looks and she see her look over and there, there's maybe a little sandwich shop across the way. Just go over there. I just go in and she makes sure that she sits down in this little po' boy shop uh, and that you sit like far away so no one at the counter can see your other over her yeah. and she will pull out one of these things and it's one of those like uh saddle staple kinko's binder things uh, -huh. uh uh you know, with the plastic bit and a plastic cover and a color thing on it and it's a weird kind of abstract like Maybe there's fae or fairy. It's like hard to tell. So it's so badly drawn on the front of it that you're like not sure what it is. But the 
pass it over to you. It's probably 180, 190 pages. They will pass it over to you. And you open it up and you'll realize that it's a collection of different pieces. Like uh, uh, clearly some of them are in the same format, same like stuff, but a number of them are in different fonts and different layouts. And some of them are even typewritten, these sections in here. And you will realize that it is an APA. It is an amateur press gathering, a thing where people send all their submissions together. And it oh, okay. is it is very raunchy, very, very raunchy, fey changeling porn. <laughs> and I think the thing <laughs> that will strike you is you kind of are flipping through. A lot of it is like clearly people who have no idea about it but there's some of the submissions that you're flipping through they have accuracy and then you'll see your name and marrow's name and and like in another one you'll see lydia's name and mr suit's name and the names of other changelings in various configurations and she goes please don't tell anyone And I think I like go from kind of kind of trying very hard not to laugh because this is like, okay, yes, this I don't have a problem with this. And then I see see my name and then the other names are like what's this page? Uh what's up with this though? So I just I, I'm not particularly creative, so I, I use some of the names from people in in the community? Uh, I mean, couldn't you at least have spelled them differently? <laughs> I, it, I, it, just, it, it, it just happened this way. I, look, here's the thing is it started on on AOL, I know we're not supposed to go, but there was a chat room and then that moved to uh, alt.rec. something. changeling. You know, fairy. thing. And there was a group of people and they started to write these things and I wrote some and people really liked them. And I used those names at the start and people have become really attached to those characters. So I, I can't like change them now. <laughs> uh -huh. I mean, but if anybody finds out, if, especially to some of the people that I've got named for, I mean, cause you're cool. Marrow's cool. And, and, you know, uh, I mean, as long as it's just the names, it's not like the people that you're, that you, as long as you... <laughs> um... No, look, I don't care. Uh... You, you won't tell anyone. No, no. Um... <laughs> <laughs> No, how would I even bring that up? <laughs> <laughs> now I, I now I get it. Uh cuz it would be super awkward <laughs> to say. Um uh no, I won't tell anyone. I <laughs> Um uh I just um kind of I'm going to feel like it's false advertising. <laughs> I I I I I I think it's more uh like fan fiction. Yeah, uh, you know, um, yeah, well, I I knew my my sister when we were kids used to write that. Um, there was this new 
I guess it's a big thing now, or it became a big thing. Star Wars. I didn't. Even, I never even saw it, but it was a big thing. My sister was a big fan and oh, yeah, yeah, wrote yeah. stories based on it. And I think they. I don't think they were this porny. I, I think they were a little bit porny. <laughs> This is one of the things I remember from before. It's one of the things that do you know the show MacGyver? Uh, I've heard of it. Yeah. Uh, it's a really cool show. It was really a hot guy and there was just, uh, there was some uh, anyway um yeah, I used to write a lot of slash fiction uh, of MacGyver writing into characters from other TV shows <laughs> intimately. Uh, okay. A lot of, I... <laughs> a lot, a lot of that. My favorite was the Stargate one I did because um, it had a whole thing to it. I know, I know that one. That's still on. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, I can see the appeal. Oh, you can. Kind of. I mean, you've only had a chance to skim it. Maybe, maybe. You... <laughs> um. I mean, yeah. Actually, I'd love to read this. Sure. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, okay. I, I'd love your I mean, your critical opinion on it because uh, I'm cause, not I mean, like a, a literary person, but sure. Kind of pushes that what that copy over to you, and it's oh wait wait wait, and you'll see her go and get a Manila envelope, pick it up, put it in the Manila <laughs> envelope, and then hand it back to you. Good good call. Because I do live in the same building as some of the other people with the names in this thing. <laughs> but really, you're not going to tell anyone? No. No. Like like I said, how would I even bring it up? But no. Uh, I think given that you have doing a favor for them, you may now take a string on them. Okay. Cool. And yes, thank you for the Fifty Shades of Fae line Patrick that's that was that was pretty good let's cut to Mr. Suit where are we going to see you um so remind me this uh taker how would they reached out to me again they apparently mm -hmm. were able to using the break of that drone into their holding were able to kind of reach out and essentially do uh kind of manifest a suit uh and and walk and find you and and get to you that way yes but you could tell that that was about the extent of their capabilities and they've been like gathering and feeding off of ghosts, right? Apparently so, yes. Yeah, but did, and the other, the missing changelings took his heart, right? That was what they told you. They yeah, told so you. that's the thing, is whatever they're doing, it required to take his <clears throat> heart. Hmm. Required a lot of big things, apparently. Um, but this taker promised to tell you everything you need to know. I'm sure he will. Uh, I, I think I'm uh, getting out of a car back there at the at the junkyard. Okay. Um, and I'll walk up to the. It was the intercom that they were talking through last time, wasn't it? They talked through the, the radio uh, that you guys had. Gotcha. Um, so if you bring along like a little, mm -hmm. little AMF radio. Yeah. 
Um, so I'll sort of be walking in a circuit around the junkyard as I can. Um, Witter shins. Lovely. Um, playing with the the dial uh, probably on the AM because there's a lot more like empty space between sections. Yeah. Um, and I'm just saying, well, I'm here. You don't have a lot of time. The hands know you're here. They're coming for you. I don't just mean one of them. I mean, it's all of them. It's not a great situation because no one can say they didn't know what happened. No one can claim ignorance or secrecy. Everybody's watching everybody else. They're all watching you. Or at least they will be soon. So you considered my offer? Crackly voice. That AM mono that comes through. <laughs> sort of, you know, back and forth, narrow in on the on the band. Gets a little stronger, a little weaker for a moment. I thought about it. If you've constructed a bargain... Put it forward, and I'll prepare to agree to it. And this would be for information. To let you out, let you escape the hands. Yes. Conditions, terms, whatever you wish on that for my departing immediately, never to return, bringing no harm to you and your loved ones, any of the classics, you're welcome to bring that bargain to me. I will not put one forward because there is no reason why you should have any kind of trust for my statements. There really, really isn't. They call you takers, and that's really all you know how to do, isn't it? Even locked away here, mangled and confined. All you do is draw misery and pain in towards you. You call me takers, you call us takers, but we also bring so many great things to your lives. So many great wonders. We've expanded your horizons. What have you brought me? What have any of you brought me? I have what I took from your kind. I have what I could escape with. Your kind, though, they have everything. They have every tiny bit of me scraped out, hollowed out, Every nook made empty so that one of your kind could wear me around, so one of your kind could fit into a crowd. I've been held entire worlds inside me. That's how much has been taken. That's how much void there is. You really think anything you have to offer could even begin to fill that? You filled that void. You became this strong because we showed you how to be that strong. You have learned from us. You've learned our ways and gained that strength that you have to be who you are today. I know, I know it must have hurt, but look how much better you are than you were before. But you have needs. There are things you want to know. Help I can give you. Needs. That is what it comes down to. Desperation, hunger. 
things that you can't get any other way. Things that keep you going from one moment to the next. Be strength to fight against the people that are coming after you. Yes, yes. And taking. You taught us that too. Yes. So, I'm here learning all that you've taught to take what you have and watch you starve and flail as they come for you because they're still coming for you. Um, and my new move I picked up is freeze assets. Uh huh. And I don't know if it can go for like supernatural or magical assets 100 or I would use percent it as the basis of a contract. Okay. this is perfect I want all that little stockpile of ghosts and spirits and energy that he's been feeding off of to keep himself going and keep this trap from really taking him like it should. I want every bit of stored up little reserve that he has. Let's have you make that roll. What do you want to roll this with? Power? Mm, yeah, yeah, mm, yeah. Oh, so many layers. Yeah, a lot. Mm. Or with calm. Which, <laughs> the which, same stat, but I know, uh, but 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 it, but it's it's saying two different things. no, it is, and I I like where power is tied into the takers and and that whole side of things. All right. I really wish that was a better stat. That's a nine. That is a nine. So those ghosts, we saw them facing sort of uh, a Blair Witch style in towards the, the garbage and stuff. There is this bit where you do that, you do that contract and there is a wind that whips through there and there will be a screech as those spirits, not full ghosts like the ones you've seen around here, but they're really just, just husks will screech and launch off into the air and that is accompanied by a screech that comes out of that radio and then a pop as a speaker on that radio blows and he is defenseless when the hands come as I lay down that like broken i think maybe like a like a wisp of smoke coming up from the radio there in the ground i'll just pat it and say there there i hope you truly appreciate the lessons that you're going to learn here in our world very nice uh let's take our first break let's take 10 uh we'll come back and we'll play for about an hour uh and that's the the plan sound good So I'd like to take up the day of the party. Um, uh, I think that uh, we need to go around. I kind of know where Lydia and Meryl feel like their role is in the party stuff, but we'll come back to them. Mr. Suit, what do you feel is your role in this party? Are you attending? Um, yes, obviously I'm attending. It's a right. party. And even though I'm, I'm sure they have just, I mean, so many mistakes. I could have saved them all from, it could have been much, but we're not there. But uh, the least I can do uh, for their, the train wreck of a party is to make sure that I am here to, to save the mood and, and make sure that the the people have the correct vibe going through this. Are you are you standoffish or are you bringing anything? Do you bring music, a, a handy bartender's guide, food? 
I, I, I think uh, that's sort of it. If if they have any sort of person running the bar, which it sounds like they probably just have like a punch bowl or something out. Anyways, I'm taking over that. It's, okay. it's going to be much better All right. to be running the bar for people. That sounds good. Aldo, what do you think you, what, what are you going to be doing here at the party? I think all those contributions tend to be on the more manual labor side, like setting up tables and chairs and putting them away at the end. Uh, and Lydia and Mero, let's, I want to do a scene with the two of you kind of in the, the setup to, to all of this, uh, you know, before the arrival of the guests and the other party goers, and then we'll have a chance to, uh, uh, you know, bring the various NBCs on stage. Um, Lydia, Marrow, I got, we know Lydia's there and excited. Marrow, what, what's the expression on your face? Um, I'm trying to give as cheerful as I can give. So it is kind of blank. I'm not actually looking miserable, though. I'm doing that for Lily, though, more than anyone else. Because I know she's worked so very, very hard on this, and I don't want to be a total pooper. But uh, uh, I I know it's just going to be sad and tragic, and not in a good way. Okay. So, Mara What seems... does that mean, not in a good way? Oh, there's plenty of sad and tragic that's good. Be the candle on the water. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. How many? Is that the Pete? Pete's Dragon, Dragon Song, yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jenny goes, I never saw that movie. Was it good? Oh, it's really very, very good. It's got yeah. child slavery. Well, that sounds And an beat. escape. Oh well, the escape, yeah. That I like escapes. It's and, wonderful, and a dragon, and Mickey Rooney. Mickey Rooney, he's a drunk. Um, and well, we see always plays one, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> and he does in the movie. <laughs> does he? Yeah. So he's Helen Re Helen Reddy. I want to say I can't remember, but the the singer. Uh, who is the sang the song? Mm -hmm. Her her father and oh, okay. I, I have to understand. I saw Peace Dragon like a dozen times in the fucking theater when I was a kid, and I had the record and I listened to it over and over again. So and he's and he's got a song. I know the, I've seen it, but I don't dragon, remember a single dragon. thing about it other than that. That's where I saw a dragon. dragon. <laughs> Interesting. I felt overwhelmed by all the kids of familiarity with a, a Shelly yeah. Winters is in it too. Yeah. The, the song there's a song about chopping the dragon up and selling it for parts that's Ooh. an excellent song that's the two the two the, the two drunks singing that the villains yes the the sharp every single part is a work of art <laughs> all right so, so 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 lydia you see that marrow is maybe a little a little mopey like just down on like a minor key minor 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 step and i think she'll She'll kind of come over and she goes, is this her chance? She goes, Nameless doesn't know how this is going to go. You need to go and reassure him. It's all going to be fine. Then when it goes horrible, you can be there to cheer him up. It's not going to go horrible. You've done a great job. She goes, no, I have done a great job. The whole going horrible has nothing to do with what I've done. I don't. I don't want the party to go bad for Doe, and I don't. I don't want it to go bad for Deedless either. I want it to go fine. I just. I have complicated feelings about it. I don't kind of know what you mean. I mean, I it's, try not to be complicated. It's a lot of work. I mean, I don't know if you understand, but sometimes you. You have someone you like, and you just don't know how to tell them, and it never seems the right time, and you're afraid if you did, it would just screw everything up, and 
I don't know. Biscuits are almost ready. <laughs> Would you please roll inner turmoil as you go to get the biscuits out of the oven? Totally, totally roll them. Such a trap. Okay. Oh, no, don't do it that way. There we go. I've mastered this. So let's see. I didn't say what I was rolling, so it's probably something with a zero. Six. So why don't you mark sinking and mark your mood? Okay. How, 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 which of your compatriots, Marrow, Mr. Suit, or Aldo, realizes that you are upset? I think it's Mr. Suit because I go in, I get the biscuits, I put them in the basket, keep where they're going to be in the warmer. I put them in the warmer. I walk out and I'm like, yes, I would like one of those. Make it stiff. No fruit juice in it, please. Oh, mm, serious parting. Okay. <laughs> Mix you a, a a small one to start with. All right, now this one you can drink quickly. That's good. And she kind of looks at you and she goes, what does it taste like? Is it bitter? Is it bracing? <laughs> Trust me, it's very bitter. Ooh, that's exactly what I need right now. <laughs> she tosses it back. <laughs> and as you're bringing it back down, he hands you a taller glass and says, this one is for, you know, longer-term maintenance. Mm, you've thought of everything. Well, thank you, Mr. Sue. And she will turn back and sashay into the kitchen and uh, put together a little fruit stick uh, and put that in the drink so no one can tell that she's drinking something bitter and they think it's fruity and sweet, just like she is. <laughs> So I think besides the the four of you, we will see uh, 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 Miss uh, Bassan. Uh, you know, shows up to help out, uh, as does uh, Lean and Hungry Mike, uh, 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 who kind of kind of checks in on everybody. Did we freeze? I froze there for a second. You did. Yeah, wow. I know that because all of you froze, and then. It said my internet connection was unstable. Thank you. Yes. Uh, uh, Aldo, uh, there is that bit where there's kind of a, a space to fill of being the big person around to carry stuff. And I think you will find yourself like kind of occupying the same space that Leading Under Grid Mike is. And there's that kind of... Uh, uh, do you want to carry that or should I carry that? Or do you want to? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know that much. Oh, not much. Okay. Yeah, I, I think I like kind of defer to him uh, or them, which is it. Uh, and. Um, he, 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 they are gender fluid. So if it's okay. him now, cool. but they've also used she, her, <laughs> they are. Right. Cool. Um, yeah, I don't think I know Mike all that well. Uh, I, I think. Yeah. In fact, you like, like, you've heard the name, but like it, it even once they say their name a couple of times, you'll, uh, oh, oh, and then you kind of go, okay. Yeah. <laughs> we, we've met before. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, sorry, I'm bad with faces and, and names and um, people. Oh, that's a bad combo <laughs> you and me then. I guess it might be worse to be bad with people, but be good with. I I don't know. <laughs> that's 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 true. Also, yeah. Uh, uh, how how do you know? Um. Uh. Actually, 
who do you know? <laughs> um, because it uh-huh. just occurred to me that that Lydia is the one like putting this party together, but she's putting it together for someone else. Yeah. Uh, um, uh, Liddy asked me to help with the food. So oh, cool. I, well, there's a lot of food, so you did a good job. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yes. Well, yes. Uh, and we obtained it all on the up and up. That's uh, That's good to know. It is. Wink. <laughs> okay. Um, well, uh, I'm going to go around and see if any of the streamers have fallen down. And because I can reach up high. Cool. Put yeah. Put them back Good. up with tape. Good. Yes. Um, I will. Uh, I will keep doing this until there's nothing else to do and then i will stand awkwardly in the corner and watch people have fun that was my plan okay hey all right we'll have to pick different corners yes to do it right <laughs> and just see your point at a corner <laughs> uh and over the course you know uh uh we will see people coming uh from uh the court of lanterns primarily and uh, uh, some of the people from, uh, a couple of people from, uh, Court of Broken Shackles, uh, Adley Dogeous, Relentless Third, uh, um, most of course, because Court of Sons, they all come to parties. We'll see some of them there. Uh, 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 and, uh, uh, there will be, uh, some other people, if, if, if there's a particular NBC that you want to see there, they are there. Um, I, I definitely think that, um, uh, songbird rex is there uh and uh sees you aldo and of course makes a beeline for you um but uh i think there is that that bit when uh you know at the a scheduled time nameless shows up uh with regal doe you know and she she seems genuinely surprised by this uh uh and kind of looks around and and at the the people who are here uh and immediately assumes that bell of the ball regality that is her namesake and and comes in and going around debutante style thanking everyone for coming and this is the lovely party and to you know it's so nice to see everyone and she goes into that full mode there lydia would you please roll plus joy to see how good all of your party preparations are how people perceive this you are muted you are correct i am muted but now i am rolling with this thing. Okay. Bees. Roll. Seven plus two is a nine. Do you want to burn a bond? Yeah. Now is the time. Who are you burning it with? Aldo or Marrow? Think I think I look over at Marrow. Okay. And gives me the thumbs up. And yeah, that's it. It's like there's an exquisite pain shared. Spectacularly. Immediately, everyone is happy. Everyone like genuinely pleased to be here at the party. Music has gone on. People have brought an assortment of little fun gifts and things. Uh, And... Marrow, you'll look over and you see Nameless is just beaming. Just beaming that this is going so well. Now, would you please roll Inner Turmoil? Yes. I'm going to suggest he needs a new court. Um, <laughs> beaming. How unseemly. <clears throat> I think I'm rolling with calm. Trying to Keep myself from looking all dejected and horrible. Uh, 
I got a an eight. An eight. So do you want to flee out of here early? Do you want to mark what you rolled with? Or do you want to mark a sinking? I want to mark what I rolled with. Okay. Um, that's you holding yourself steady. Like, like you're taking that that emotional hit, but you are are I keeping yourself. I can't leave Lily's party, and I would be it would be inappropriate to 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 do. So okay. I I hold it together. Uh, and and you know it kind of spills outside. Uh, somebody bought a box of of really good cigars, uh, Cubans that have been smuggled in. So people going out and smoking. Uh, you know, they have some bottles of rum out there. So you can uh, take a drink and have a cigar. Uh, th there's a little space here for a dance floor. So people are dancing to the, uh, you know, early nineties hits. Uh, uh, and, uh, uh, Mr. Suit, who do you want to interact with? Who do you want to talk with while you're here? Everyone is here. There are none of the hands here, I will say. That's the only thing. Mm -hmm. They um, have business. Something's going on. I don't really know many people from Broken Shackles other than Relentless Third. I don't know, maybe Ali Doges. Okay. Uh really you know, out with them. know that Aldo uh knows Ali Doges. Um uh they come over, they they are kind of a beast, but it's mostly it's more that they they are kind of uh, made of serpents in some ways. Um uh, uh, but they will come over to to see you and and get a drink, and they will say, "You're uh, you're Mister Suit." Yes, Ally, right? Yes, yes. How are you finding the party so far? Uh, it's really nice. I'm very glad to have come here. Uh, uh, Semolina said she'd be here later. I'm very excited to, to have a chance to hang out with her. Hmm. Uh, but but it's 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 such a lovely uh big group of people um you seem a little you seem like you could use some relaxing yes i've never gotten used to letting the alcohol work i know some of us can do that can can make ourselves believe in it but i've i've never gotten used to that oh well it's fairly easy it's mostly just it's a social situation so it's all about reading cues copying them everybody wants to fit in with everybody else so all you have to do is feel like you're fitting in with them feel like it's hitting you a little bit. You're loosening up. The party atmosphere is nice, and the music is getting inside you a bit. It will, whether whether it does or not. You can feel it, though. You can feel things start to wash through you. If you make a roll for me here, what do you think your kind of social interaction <clears throat> stat you're working here is? <laughs> I, think, I I think this is um fear in the sense of like that is where I feel them starting from uh and I'm trying to move them out of that. Okay, let's have you roll. Oh, that's a six. So she's listening to you and she's drinking and drinking some more. 
And one of the things you realize is that she is loosening up as you're talking to her and stuff. But the other thing you realize is as you're talking to her, you know, you've got the snakes that are kind of draping around on her and, and stuff. And you'll slowly see those snakes kind of start to vanish. And it's almost like they merge with her and she gets a bit taller. And you'll see that her skin becomes more reptilian. And like she goes from being a little mousy to being quite buff <laughs> and taller and drunk. And you see her turn and her eyes are completely reptilian and it's, it's just you, you know when you when you when you have one of those meals and you feel like you've just eaten so much and you're so full and then an hour later it's it's like you're hungrier than before it's like there's just this emptiness inside you yeah that just she all says of it up. i could eat <laughs> i could eat and she kind of puts her hand on you and she pushes you back towards the wall. And she says, I could just eat you up. Oh, uh, I, what are, um, uh, uh, hello. You see her open her mouth and her jaw kind of start to like descend a little further than it ought to. Aldo, <laughs> you kind of are in that corner standing there. And maybe probably been watching Allie. Maybe getting a little bit, you know, seems like she's having a nice chat with Mr. Suit. And then you see her start to change and you see some of the dragon come back. And, and then you see her clawed hand to push Mr. Suit back against the wall. And you see her jaw start to yeah, I think the jaw thing is fi like finally like, oh wait, that's that's not good. Uh yeah, I think I will go and um interrupt that <laughs> interaction. Um there's that bit, Mr. Suit, where you're kind of caught like a uh, Disney cartoon style with the eyes of the dragon, you know, kind of staring at you there. Maybe you just need a, a snack or or another a snack and drink. Good. I could have a snack right now. Or, or, and then Miss Aldo is right there. Ellie, hey. Huh? Hey, uh. <laughs> <laughs> um, I didn't know you could do that. Uh, but I still, sorry, still do I that. A, Obviously, a I know bit, you could do that before. A, a bit to drink. I'm trying to get out of my head, but. It's kind of stuck there right now. Uh, wait, so when you, this always, this always happens when you drink? What? The, that, like, just gestured at her. No, I, I just, I was drinking, and, and as she's saying this, she is kind of shrinking back down. Mr. She was telling me how to get drunk on regular alcohol. Uh-huh. Oh, Aldo. Aldo, have you met my friend Aldo? Wait. Um, yes, uh, uh, Aldo Aldo helped uh, Semolina re uh, rescue me. Uh, oh, did you need rescuing? Was I I wasn't Did I do something? No, 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 not not from you. No. Oh, I've got a headache. I better go sit down. And she'll she'll wander over to a, a chair and kind of collapse in it. Yeah, I'll, I'll go with her because this, this is something I, I don't think I've seen before, or, or maybe I, or is this is this a common thing that happens? Like people, you've never seen change while this okay. happened before. Yeah, cool. I'll go down and go next to her. Be like you, you didn't, you started to. Um, started to take on the dragon form again. You didn't I need mean to, to? I need to drink more. <laughs> um, I mean, you did look like you were about to bite Mr. Suit, though. So 
He would have survived. Uh, I, I don't. I don't know, would he? <laughs> I guess. I just, uh, yeah, wow. So, if that happens when you drink, um, maybe you should try a little bit at a time and ease into it so you, like, can control it. Yeah, I could practice drinking. Yes. Yeah. But th- but not be. not not that much at once. <laughs> no, no, no. Like a kind of got to get good at it. Got to got to uh, you know get good at it. Aldo, when suddenly swooped in out of the corner of your eye, you'll see suddenly seated knee on her knee, hand on. Uh, uh, Allie's knee holding her hand you'll see Semolina has appeared from nowhere and and he's like Allie are you all right she's like oh yes yeah, sorry I I just uh I had a bit too much to to drink and you will see Semolina look at you Aldo maybe a little accusingly Um, I just, I just look back at her kind of like, I don't say anything. Say, why don't you get us some water? Yeah, okay. And now do we want to do that inner conflict role for you? Yeah, yeah, let's do that. See what your reaction Uh, yeah, I think this is anger. I think I'm annoyed at our yeah. Uh, we're... So eight, eight. Uh, do you want to give them the water and retreat? Do you want to mark anger or do you want to mark sinking? Um. I think I'll mark sinking. Okay. I think I am pretending very hard that this is not a big deal. Okay. And it totally is. All right. I think there is a bit, you know, of that the kind of hanging around, you know, not retreating immediately, kind of watching stuff. And then I think you'll you'll feel a like a tap on your shoulder. And you'll see that Songbird Rex is there. Hey. Hey, uh, so, uh, uh, do you have a chance to read that thing I gave you? Uh, I, not yet. I've been drafted. Oh, okay. into no, no, it's cool. It's cool. I can understand. You, would, you know, you know <laughs> I, you're a really pretty person, so I can understand why you wouldn't have a chance to do it. Just not, I thought I'd ask since you know, we were all here. <laughs> but I, I will, I swear. I oh, will. okay. Good, just, good, uh, good, good, good. It's all good. It's all good. Just, just thought I'd ask. <laughs> I got to go. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Uh, Lydia, mm-hmm. what it, what is it that you want to do? Who do you want to interact with? I mean, uh, Miss Boston is amazing, and we are as catty as we can be uh, while we're in the kitchen getting everything done and watching. I'm taking lessons in being cold-hearted. Mm-hmm. Um, I have my my glass, my drink here. It just tastes like bitter to me. Okay. Um, it's exactly the flavor that I want that sort of is, you know, how do you say It's the only thing that's more bracing that like I can ignore how sad I feel. Um, And she goes, well, I probably should go out and mingle. And she kind of stops and says, it's been a real pleasure working with you. Um, I would like to learn more. You're very good at all of these things and I'm still learning. Absolutely. You know, we ought to do is we ought to figure out, like, 
the, the people in our court, we should decide, do you want to try to, like, rebuild some of the bridges that you have with them? Maybe some of them seem to have some irritation with you. We could rebuild those bridges. Why? I, well, I, I, I don't either. But the other option is we could crush them. Oh, crush them. Let's do that. Absolutely. <laughs> that's Good. what I want to learn how to do. Absolutely. As I sure. understand it, that's as much the sun court agenda as anything, isn't it? Absolutely. Joy comes in all different shapes and sizes. I suggest that we start with Semolina next oh, week. Oh, my goodness. You saw straight into my heart, didn't you? Absolutely. Oh. Because uh, we could just absolutely... I think I think the time is nigh. Absolutely, we'll do a little 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 lunch meeting, maybe a brunch. Uh, have, a, have a little brunch and then uh, make some some horrible plans. Oh yeah, let's go to the department store, the fancy place at the department store downtown. Oh yeah, the beignets there are delicious. Oh yeah, exactly. I heard so much about them. Actually, is what it is. I haven't been there, um, so I think that would be. Perfect. They have that little cafe that overlooks the the main floor of the the store. It's if you like, because it overlooks the lady section, and you can can say things about them. All right, this sounds lovely. I'm because I have exactly the right dress to wear. I'm very excited. Absolutely. You're going to be okay. And she sort of sets her glass down and she goes, I am going to be okay. There are a lot of things to look forward to, aren't there? There are. There are so many things in this world. So many people to have their flaws pointed out to them. And so many things to to just revel and laugh in and conspiratorially. I am so glad that I have had this opportunity. And she sort of goes, I do have to go and check in with Mike. They have been so, so very helpful in this as well. Please. And, and Mike is there in the, the corner. They have a a, a, a bowl that is mm -hmm. filled with the, the little meatballs. Mm -hmm. uh, and they have, like, have eaten it down. You know, they filled it up and they've eaten it down. And you see them standing there in that way that says, has everybody gotten enough? Can I go back? Can I refill my bowl now? Do I want to put a toothpick in each one? Or do I want to use one toothpick and keep doing that? Which one looks more, more delicate? Mm -hmm. and, and she sort of stops and goes, I have a whole nother box of toothpicks. I'll help you. Okay. All right. She didn't hear that. She can just tell because he's looking at the toothpicks, yeah. right? So, yeah. yeah. Let's do this. Uh, I like what you did with the uh, lasagna. Uh, did with you? The, yeah, is, it's a, like a, a like 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 it's a whole shaker worth on top. It, it is. It's like amazing. It becomes almost a crust. Absolutely. I like that with parmesan. Um, yeah, I had a friend that used to have a little 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 cooking blowtorch they would take and use on those kinds of things. Oh my gosh. I've never heard of such a thing, and now I yeah. want one. They used it because they didn't have a broiler, so they'd uh, use that if they were making lasagna or creme brulee. So you can buy these like little ones. Oh yeah, yeah. There's there's a there's a restaurant supply outlet in town. It's great. You go there, and uh, they. They cycle through things. They got like a shelf of discount things, you know, dented Ooh. pans and things. Okay. Okay. So do you want to do that this week? T together? Yeah. Uh. You know where it is? Yeah. You, you know what we're looking for, right? Uh, it's out by the airport. Oh, I haven't been out there. Is there anything, any place cool to eat out there? Oh no, not by the airport. Oh, then we'll eat before we we head out. Okay. Yeah. All right. That sounds great. No, there's a Cracker Barrel, but it's the worst Cracker Barrel in town. Mm -hmm. I will mark it on my map. Yeah. Worst. Yeah. <laughs> okay. The only thing that's even close to edible out there, besides that, is the there is a Waffle House. Waffle Houses all taste the same, don't they? And that's the beauty of it. Um, I thought of it that way. 
Yeah. She sort of stares out the window. <laughs> <laughs> they both kind of <laughs> stare off into the distance. Yeah. Well, we'll stay Waffle House for a special time, okay? Like when we just need something that's always the same. Okay. Sometimes you do. Uh, Aldo, I kind of put you into the the uh, uh, alley uh, scene there with uh, Mr. Suit. Um, uh, is there another scene that you like to call with a PC or an NPC before I come to Marrow? Uh, no, I think I think Aldo is just sort of wandering around aimlessly saying hi to people but not like actually going beyond saying hi to people there are a couple people who are like oh, oh okay in there <laughs> um uh uh but uh yeah the, definitely uh well get that that feeling of being alone in a big group of people even though your friends are here at that kind of isolation that you get Marrow, who do you want to interact with? Well, I think that I want to go up to uh, Doe and Nameless. Um, and uh, I, I, I come up and I've got, you know, I kind of reach into my coat and I bring out something for uh, Doe. Hi, Nameless uh, Doe. Um, Marrow, come and sit. Well, Amos I must said that you and Lydia put all this together. Oh, it it really was Lydia more than me. I I had she worked really really hard. It is a wonderful party. I owe you and her so much. I I I got you a little something. Oh, you didn't have to get me anything. Her <laughs> well, hands are already out though. <laughs> and I lay into her hands. Um, and uh, it is, as she uh, opens it, it is uh, a record. It's one of the ones we probably saw when we were, when I was at the store and got it. It's the cure's head on the door. Um, and I say, uh, I, I, it's, it's, the cure's awesome. And this album I thought would be the one you would like the best, uh, you, you you can go. I bet they would play it for you if you would like. Ah uh, yes. Oh, this sounds really lovely. Um, uh, yes. Uh, uh, it kind of looks. Uh, and you know, wait. Somebody will will take it from. Uh, uh, they're not a band that I've listened to. You you might like them. Uh, yeah, you really might. Uh, uh well, and before she got that, well, you know. Nameless, you should go and put this on for her. Come, come on, and I'm going to attempt to get Nameless away from her for a moment to put the record on. Absolutely, you kind of set that up, and and then it will happen. <laughs> I'm just so, so happy. She seems so. This, this went well. Yeah, I, like I say, Lydia worked really, really hard for you. you you should appreciate what she did. Uh, I, oh, I'll, I'll definitely hear for next. But she said that you helped quite a bit as well. You'd be too kind. Uh, as they start playing it, um, I will kind of. Uh, would it be untoward if? Would you dance with me for a song? Let's have you roll. 2d6 here. Okay. Am I adding anything? Let's let's add in that sorrow. Okay. <laughs> Stay guys. No, I really should be dancing with Doe. I understand. And you he see looks... him hesitate in that way that gives you that moment of hope. 
But then he turns around and he walks over and he picks her up, puts his hands on hers and lifts her up like a princess. And to like his back as he's moving away, I go, you look really good together. Doesn't hear you. And uh, I kind of move away and I could yes. fix this, says that little darkness that you talk to sometimes, that you call to, that you can speak to, that you can summon. I can fix problems. You just never call on me. All of you, when I need you. You don't need me now? No. All right. Call me when you need me, Master. And I I move kind of quickly, trying to get away both of the boys, both from seeing them, moving to try and find Lydia. And as L I... Yeah. Okay. But well, Lydia, where does, where does uh, Marrow find you? You muted. Uh, she's probably sitting, like, with Mike. And they're both having lasagna uh, and uh, essentially talking about blowtorches and all the different things you could use them for. So. L Lydia. Um, oh, Mauro, Mauro, come and join us. Have you had some I, of this lasagna? It's got like. It was, it was, it was very good, but I, I, it's, I think it's time. I'm, I'm, I'm going to, I'm tired. I think I'm going to go, but uh, will you, will you walk me out? Of course, of course I will. And I turn back and I say, I'll, I'll, be, I'll be back, okay? And she kind of puts her arm through yours and she goes, I'm going to buy a little blowtorch. Isn't that cool? That is neat. I know. What are you going to burn with it? Uh, food. It'll be great. Apparently, oh. you use it to, like, make things toasty. Oh, like a marshmallow. Yeah, exactly. Except not in marshmallow, because apparently Mike says they burn too fast. And like, if you're holding the marshmallow, it would definitely burn your fingers. So there you go. Oh. I don't want to burn anyone's fingers. Well, I think you did a really good job on this party. And think nameless and doe, even, even if they don't tell you enough, but you did a really a basic job for them. Help me. You were a good sport. They look happy together. And she sort of looks and she goes, I... It's hard to know who someone's heart will leap towards. It's okay. The main thing is, is he's happy. <laughs> um, I'm, I think, I'm happy. Oh. I'm happy because I got to do something with you. Oh, well, and Suit seemed to be having a lot of fun over there making drinks. He's really good at it. He drinks a lot. I, that's what I say. But, you know, I... I should probably be more. I haven't found the right words to say the things I mean. I always say something and it sounds harsh, but I'm just thinking of, you know, Hollywood squares. And Anyway, so anyway. As we get to the bike, I'm like, well, I guess I'll see you at home. But I, okay. uh, I, I have a gift for you. And I reach into the sidecar. And I hand you a driftwood colored box and I open up the lid and it begins to play Dream a Little Dream as a ballet dancer begins to fly around. My gosh. I it's... thought you'd like it. I love it. I... It's the And she sort of stops and she goes, I don't know 
this is this is far too nice for me. Don't be silly. The moment I saw it, I said, I do not want to give it to you. I'll see you at home. And I'll All give right. you a hug. Mm -hmm. Hop on my bike and shit the fuck out of here. <laughs> Absolutely. One last note, and then we're going to go to Stars and Wishes. One Mr. last thing? Yes? I do want to say, I have this great gift, and when I walk in, I catch Mrs. Bashun's eye, and she kind of looks at me, and I have the gift. And so I actually go over to her, but I make sure that, like, Doe catches, like, that I'm walking over, and I'm showing her this thing, and I open it up, and it's this magical thing with the the ballerina flying, and I'll go, you gave me the nicest gift. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like I never looked at her the whole time. Actually. Absolutely. <laughs> she gets that mean girl eye look in her eyes there yes. at the party. And the best thing is, is I never make eye contact with her. I'm hoping to get some respect from Ms. Bosch. So, sorry. Terrible Perfect. and petty. I'm sorry. <laughs> Mr. Suit, after after serving up drinks and after that weird interaction with uh, uh, Allie, uh, there is a moment when you kind of step outside to take in a little bit of the the night air, uh, and you will hear the the crunch of feet on gravel. Uh, someone coming up the path towards this through the the trailer park uh, little cabiny areas here, uh, and you will see Aladdin saying. And uh, he will come over to where you are. And he will say, How are you, Mr. Suit? Are you well, Mr. Suit? I am. It's been it's been a good day. It has. The hands have worked successfully. That is very satisfying. Hold out your hand. I will in a sort of like taking someone's hand to go into a dance sort of gesture. Takes your hand and he puts something in it. And he says, those are the keys to a 1996 red Dodge Stratus out in the parking lot. It is yours. Your help is noted and appreciated. was gratifying work. Thank you. Thank you. And then he turns and he walks away. Just back into the night. <laughs> Sit back into the night. Leave you with these keys. The kind of keychain that says to you, this is not a new car at all. <laughs> but you have been gifted a 1996 Dodge Stratus. Ooh. And that's where we're going to stop for tonight. Uh, let's do XP. Well, has the Stratus had its inspection? Or is it going to have to go take it to the <laughs> Department of <laughs> <laughs> Next week on <laughs> Sunken Hearts. <laughs> uh, so I think we definitely hit uh, your entanglements, right, uh, Mero? You're muted. Yes, and I am resolving and ending my romantic entanglement. Excellent. Ooh. 
you know, leave that blank while you think of how you want to do the next step. Sounds good. Yep. Uh, and uh, I think we both got your human and your changeling side today Thank very you. seriously. So I, I think uh, three points across the board there. Beautiful. Uh, um, if I could real quick. Yeah. This also, because it's the end of the session, gives me my fifth sinking. Oh, yeah. Which means that I will be picking up two sinking moves because of my playbook move. That's right. I will take my first step on bad repute. <laughs> but if I could, I think in the night, I have a dream where I'm looking in the mirror and I see the young me. But most specifically, I see my eyes. I always liked my eyes. And we get this sort of turning of the camera as we come off looking at the mirror to looking into my eyeless, barrow face. Yikes. That is excellent. That seems more than reasonable. Uh, Aldo, we hit your uh, entanglements. Uh, do you think we got your human and your your taken side both? I'm not sure about the taken. But definitely, definitely the human. Okay. Uh, so two points. Uh, plus, don't forget when you, when you rolled inner conflict or to normally mark XP for those. Oh, yes, that's right. Uh, Mr. Suit. I'm not sure we hit your entanglements, but I think we both hit your human and your changeling, uh, sorry, a uh, 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 taken side pretty strongly, wouldn't you say? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's uh, give you two points for those. Uh, and of course, uh, uh, your sinking will then clear. You'll take that sinking level, marrow, and it'll clear back to 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 zero. Um, uh, and uh, and I had to mark sorrow. Yeah. Um, and next time we'll also talk about clearing drained and what that involves, and and do a, a scene with that. Um, and we'll also try. I'll also try to remember we have the flashback thing that we have. To, to to get that on a, uh, the table a little bit, um, and uh, Lydia, yes, get your entanglements. I did. Morrow and Nameless, both of them. Uh, what about your taken side and your human side? I think. I think both. I think Morrow and the heartbreak. Um, you know, of uh, yes, she was very sad and she needed Mr. Suit's help at that moment. And then I do think that her, um, how should we say, embracing Ms. Boshin's uh, uh, version of how one conducts joy uh, seems seems like a good one, as well as uh, looking forward to doing more stuff with uh, Mike. Okay. So, yeah, I think so. Yeah, so that's What'd three three points. Okay. Uh quick stars and wishes. Uh yeah. uh Marrow. I this was great. Um tight, tight little session. Um Patrick. Holy Ooh, cow. So good. Oh so good. Ooh, so good. Baby. Just marvelous. Um edge of the seat handled it so well just no. pristine beautiful thank you um really good and then at the party also a lot of fun um mm -hmm. aldo i to see you moving through the party and being separate but i also really liked the the fave you know uh Fifty Shades of Fame <laughs> moment in there. <laughs> that that conversation was wonderful, and your sort of acceptance of, oh, okay, that's your hold it. Why are our names in this one really good? 
it excellent excellent and uh sherry you were all over it tonight it's so many high points um the interaction with the cold-hearted bitch all the way through the <laughs> evening was good this idea that that might be where you're going is interesting because it's very different than what we've seen. I almost, I liked our moment there at the end where if maybe there is a fire and ice or a warmth and cold that's a struggle in the person, you know, in, in how you, you know, are looking forward. I don't know. But it, it I, I thought all around your interactions were great. I liked with the uh, Lean and Hungry Mike as well. You were just really on it tonight. And oh, it was a, it was tight. I mean, it was so well kept us focused. Everything shifted beautifully. The NPCs were great. It was really well done. Oh, good, good. Uh, for wishes, well, I, I, the only wish I have is that I want this duel to be interesting, and I, I am curious if my principal will show up. That is, that is, I, I don't know. I don't know if I want them to or not. So I don't have a wish, but I am very much looking forward to seeing if they show. All right, I think that's that's fair. Uh, Aldo. Uh, yeah. I, I basically echoing everything Tyler just said um uh I, I really I guess the, the the thing that's slightly different um that I can add is just the idea of Lydia aspiring to be a heartless bitch in order to impress this person who says she's a heartless bitch it's just like <laughs> like yeah I'll try that it might be fun and also this person might like me more I, I'll try <laughs> that's perfect <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> uh anything else? Any wishes? Um no, I'm also yeah, looking forward to the duel and how that how that is going to turn out to be a complete disaster because I, how can it not? Um, Absolutely. <laughs> uh I love it. Uh, Mr. Suit. Uh, yeah, this was, this was very fun and, and good to get back to it. Um, Tiny Star, I like the, I like the name change. Oh, good. And Sunken Hearts. I thought that was nice. Um, the, the party was just so, so painfully sad. <laughs> um, it was just both, both, uh, Sherry and Tyler, Lydia and Marrow, both just going absolutely through the ringer in this um, was was really well done. And in that, like, oh, you just want to push them to be sad together, but also, like, these are two very different sorts of emotional crises, and it was it was neat to see both of them. Um, uh Ethan I I I I love the stuff with the um the fan fiction and just the sort of like no no no, no it's okay I don't need to read the Well actually yeah let me hold on to those <laughs> um, <laughs> And also just the the very like oh that hurts too closely sort of thing of like um well, they could use someone to move the chairs out at the party, so I'll go do that. <laughs> um, and uh, Sherry, I really enjoyed how both, uh, like I said, down and and um, sort of heartbroken and sad, Lydia was in a in a very genuine and real way um that uh felt painful and great but also just that thing of like 
oh, you're so cool and emo. I want to be emo too. I'm going to feel <laughs> all the feelings. I'm going to go out to Hot Topic and I'm going to buy a whole new wardrobe and it's going to be great. And I'm going to put colors in my hair and I'm actually really excited about this. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it was just, it was both of those things at the same time. And it was, it was pretty great. Um, which is, uh, I, I am also very curious about the um, dual, uh, and I'll say, uh, you know, this is this has done nothing to lessen my like rabid curiosity about the four. Okay. You know, there was a, a hurricane and a destroyed goblin town and the heart of a taker, and what the hell were they doing? Absolutely. Ah, uh, Lydia. Um, I I think top notch. Everyone, everyone, all the things you said, absolutely spot on. I, I, I loved the um, pointing to the corner you were going to go stand. <laughs> it was, so, was so good, Eldo. It was like I was like, oh gosh, yes, I've been at that party. Um. So, <laughs> um and uh and Tyler, you were your your sad was that sort of tinged with like real sorrow and with like the sadness of if you try it will make it worse, but you gotta try and then when it doesn't work, it makes it worse. <laughs> it was like, oh. The dice were against it. Oof. They were, and I wanted them. And oh, man, it, it was so good. Uh, yeah, uh, I was feeling the feels. And Mr. Suit, you were the scariest dang thing ever at the beginning. Holy smacks. If you'd have been having that conversation with Lydia, she'd be like, what do I have to do so I can be like that? <laughs> <laughs> it was amazing. Um, yeah, that was just the best like just you just riffed so well you were super scary um so and lol you did good not getting scared by <laughs> mr suit that's all i can say uh, it was great it was wonderful i loved all the npcs like you guys said everyone was top notch tonight um i don't want to take as long a break as we did between sessions but but we did come back at our best selves so it was lovely and fun uh, I am going to stop the recording. <laughs>